Hey guys. Welcome to couple. Please like and subscribe if you like this video. The next OnePlus flagship phone will have a notch in its display, and above is the first official image of it, provided exclusively to The Verge. OnePlus, still the darling of many Android enthusiasts, was alarmed by the vociferous chorus of disapproval directed at new smartphones launching at Mobile World Congress this year with notched displays. So the company reached out to me, as one of the louder critics of the notch trend, to try to make its case for why that change in design is a good thing and why its next phone release will be more than just another iPhone copycat. How big a notch is always depends on your choices as a company, said Carl Pei, the public face of OnePlus, when he met me in London last week. In his mind, the question of whether to have a notch at all is a foregone conclusion. OnePlus, like every other phone maker opting to go this design route, sees it as adding more screen real estate instead of taking anything away. What you are essentially doing is moving the entire notification bar up, giving users more content on their screen. OnePlus is preempting discontent among its fans, but it's not apologizing though Apple was preceded by the Essential Phone and Sharp Aquas S2 in 2017, the definitive notch phone for the vast majority of people is and will forever be the iPhone X. The X marked the first time most people had seen that striking design, which made for a radically different iPhone and an instantly iconic visual identity for Apple's flagship device. And that's what has irked a lot of Android fans, Apple has taken ownership of the notch look and any subsequent device that resembles it feels derivative. It didn't help that, during MWC, we were treated to a conveyor belt of hastily assembled iPhone X lookalikes that had zero software adaptations for the notch. It was embarrassing and I said as much at the time, Pei believes that OnePlus notch is different, implemented with more thought and care. His opening remark about the choices a company makes was a bit of a dig at the essential notch, which is the narrowest one we've seen so far. Pei says OnePlus couldn't have gone that small without compromising the quality of the device's earpiece and front-facing camera or omitting the proximity and ambient light sensors or the user-requested LED notification light. At the same time, argues Pei, we don't feel the need to have structured light on our phones akin to Apple's Face ID, so OnePlus notch is appreciably smaller than Apple's. Our notch, it will be there, sums up Pay, and it'll be bigger than the essential phone, smaller than the iPhone. OnePlus provided the precise measurements for its upcoming notch as 19.616mm x 7.687mm. On the software front, OnePlus has had its team manually test the top 1000 Play Store apps to determine which would meet a compatibility mode with the notch. The company is shifting its clock to the left side of the screen to allow more room for status icons, and it's going to disguise the notch anytime video is playing on the phone in a way that recreates the overall screen curvature. In my experience with the iPhone X, the only times that the notch has ever been noticeable as an incursion into the regular user experience has been exactly when viewing photos or video, and I'm encouraged to see OnePlus tackling those pain points directly. Without the iPhone X, OnePlus might not have moved to a notch design or a gesture interface quite as fast as it has done OnePlus isn't promoting its move to a notch design as an aesthetic choice. The company insists that it has done its utmost to maximize screen real estate for the user. Where the notch frees up a sliver of space at the top by absorbing notification and status icons at the bottom of the phone, OnePlus gesture interactions help to remove the persistent Android software keys and thus liberate even more space. Those gestures, available in beta software for existing OnePlus devices, are very much like the eye, 